You're ready to indulge in a sweet delight from the 1950s. Join me as I recreate this iconic dessert, guaranteed to leave you hooked until the very last crumb. It's lunch with Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa and I help you cook quick and easy healthy recipes. And welcome back to my decade series where I'm cooking my way through the decades from the 1900s until today. And we're in the 1950s and it's dessert. Something I grew up eating in the 80s, but was definitely a staple in the 50s was angel food cake. Now the angel food cake my mother cooked for me was made out of a box. So I had no idea that it was made with egg whites and how easy it is just to make it from scratch. So I'm really excited to bring this recipe to you today. It's way easier than you think, but you can totally make this out of a box if you want to. But just watch this first and see if you wanna try it this way. For this recipe, you're gonna need one cup of cake flour and one cup of egg whites, one teaspoon of cream of tartar, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, one and a quarter cups of white sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon vanilla extract, and a quarter of a teaspoon almond extract then a third of a cup of maraschino cherries drained and sliced. First, start by preheating your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're going to sift your flour three times. Yes, three times. That is gonna help your cake get light and fluffy. So sift it three times. I just like to use a sieve over a bowl. Super easy. All you need is two bowls and one sieve and a spatula so you don't make a mess. Then you're going to beat your egg whites with your cream of tartar and salt in a large glass or metal mixing bowl until it's foamy. Then start gradually adding in your sugar, continuing to beat it until stiff peaks form. You really need the stiff peaks for this. Then go ahead and toss in your vanilla and almond extract and beat it a little bit more. Then fold in your sifted flour into your egg white mixture until no streaks remain. Then you're gonna pour half of your batter into a clean and dry 10 inch tube pan. I only had an eight inch tube pan. So I scaled back on all of the ingredients for this. However, it was kind of difficult to pour into my tube pan. So I went ahead and put this into a piping bag and that helped so much. Yes, it was a little messy, but it was delicious to lick off my hands, I promise. Then once half of your batter is in the bottom of your pan, you're gonna arrange half of the cherries on top. Then just Put the rest of the batter on top of that and layer on the rest of your cherries. Now, you can use more cherries than a third of a cup, but don't use too many because then your cake may be a little bit undercooked or won't cook as fast or as easily because it'll have too much liquid on them. So make sure they're dry. And put this in your preheated oven for 50 minutes. I did 55 minutes because that's just how my oven goes. It needs five or 10 extra minutes on everything. Then take your pan out of the oven and invert it onto a cooling rack or a cutting board. If you don't have a pan that stands up by itself, go ahead and put this on top of an empty wine bottle or some kind of thin necked glass bottle. Cooling your cake like this will prevent it from sinking back down. You want it to be light and airy. Don't peek in the oven when you're cooking this because it could make your cake deflate by letting out all the beautiful steam that you need for it to rise. So leave it alone, let it bake. It'll be good. And then to take it out of the pan, you might wanna run a utensil around the outside and the inside. And then if you used a tube pan, the bottom should just come right out. So you can lift the sides off, flip your cake over, take it off the bottom by running your tool around that bottom part. And then boom, you have your cake. And you can eat it too. So where did this angel food cake come from? Well, actually it's from the 19th century. Angel food cake, known for its light and airy texture, originated in the United States in the 19th century and became popular among home bakers. Cherries, which was a beloved fruit in American cuisine, were often incorporated into desserts, leading to the creation of the cherry angel food cake. The combination of angel food cake and cherries gained popularity in the mid 20th century particularly during the 1950s and 60s. This era, known for its embrace of convenient foods and innovative desserts, saw cherry angel food cake become a staple in American baking. It was prized for its simplicity, versatility, and vibrant flavor, and it became a favorite dessert for home cooks and bakers, enjoying at family gatherings and special occasions alike. And today, it remains a beloved dessert, cherished for its nostalgic appeal and timeless flavor, reminding us of the rich culinary heritage of American baking. Now, I never had cherries in my angel food cake. It was always strawberries, but that was the 80s. This was the 50s. 
all this preservatives and stuff was all the rage. It was healthy for you. You know, eat margarine. It's so crazy how far we've slung, slingshotted back from that. Angel food cake is definitely timeless. And this is basically just angel food cake with a little bit of cherries in it. And it tastes like the 50s. It looks like the 50s. It's beautiful. I love this so much. I took some of the maraschino cherry juice and did a little reduction on the stove to make a little syrup. So it just doesn't sink right in. So yum. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Delicious. And what's angel food cake without a little bit of whipped cream on top? Oh yeah. I could probably put a cherry on there, but I'm good. Angel food cake is really hard to like cut into with your fork. So I'm just gonna pick it up and eat it. And I hope you do too. That is so good. Uh huh. That reduced cherry sauce. So it's just the maraschino cherry sauce from the bottle. All I did was just cook it for a few minutes on the stove top to evaporate some of the liquid. <laughs> It doesn't need anything else. It's so good. Wow. And this came out so light and fluffy. Tastes exactly like the box. So if you want to use the box, go for it. If you want to make it yourself, go for it. I had all the ingredients at home. I didn't have to buy anything. It's crazy how that worked out. Even the maraschino cherries. So of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're going to make this yourself and try it out. If you've ever made angel food cake from scratch. And as always, like and subscribe. And if you like this recipe, I'm sure you'll love this one too. Stick around for the 1960s and I'll see you in my next video. It's lunch with Lisa.